Today I want to show you a lo-fi trick that you can apply to any of your tracks that doesn't require a plugin and can be done in basically any DAW or audio editor that has time stretching. But what about hardware? Hey, what's going on? So I'm not sure if you've seen this video before by Tatro. I saw it um, when it first came out, probably within, you know, first few days. It was super inspiring and I watched the whole thing and I was wondering how this would apply to things in the hardware world. So I kind of wanted to try this with the DigiTact. And essentially, if you haven't seen the video, it's basically stretching and resampling and stretching and resampling and stretching and resampling the same sound, but within a DAW. So I wanted to take that and try it with hardware. Well, here's the catch. So I haven't tried this before, but at least intentionally, but my guess is that it should have a big effect because I mean, the way, the way this thing works is basically in a given amount of time, right? You have a sample rate of what something's running at and that's always X per second. So if you take this amount of information, you have that amount of information per second. Let's just say this is one second. But if we condense that down to half and then resample that, we've now condensed all that into just half of that second, but then you stretch it back out. Does that deteriorate the quality of the sound? Because essentially that's kind of what happens in this video. But I'm wondering how that actually applies to hardware things, because I'm guessing that all this stuff runs at a specific sample rate as well, right? So who knows, this could be fun. Hopefully it works. If it does, we'll make a track. And if it does not, we'll, uh, we'll continue sitting around binge watching TV shows, I guess. Now to sample, uh, I'm just gonna take a feed out of my audio interface. And the reason I'm doing this is I guess to just keep it as hardware based as possible. Cause I know I can use electron transfer, but I don't know, I figured I would just, I mean, I'm sampling from the internet. Who knows, this ain't scientific. I'm not going too crazy with this, I'm just curious. Another thing too, I guess just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be just pulling off some samples on Splice. You know, just figured uh, it'd be easier. That way I don't have to worry about, you know, copyright or something like that. And if it ends up sounding kind of dope, then cool, we got potential for a track. So let's see what we can got. I got a couple samples in here already that I like to use and I've used them in a couple tracks already that are pretty cool. Let's see, synth stuff. Actually, let's do this. So see, that sound, I know you don't have direct audio, but that already has a lot of like bit reduction kind of aliasy gritness, which sounds really good, but let's see what else we got. Cool, I like this. Let's do this one. Simple, simple, simple. Change the source, external left and right. Our threshold's pretty basically to none. I'll set it a little higher just to be safe. Cool. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. I'm down with this one. Boom, cut, kaboom. Sweet. Uh, yeah, I wanna save this. We'll call this a uh, guitar. And I guess for safety, we'll just save it on five. That made, <laughs> what do I even mean by that? <laughs> oh, I don't have any audio. Cool, all right, let's do this. We'll go from in to out and from out to in. There it is. All right, cool. Let's take this to the desk. That's one thing I love about this. You could just turn it off and it'll save that. Oh God, I hope. Please still be there. Right, it still saves it. It's not like Octatrack. Man, Octatrack has me on edge. Let's see, fingers crossed. Oh, whew. okay. Yeah, it's still there. Sweet, yes. One thing I love about this, you can just turn it off. You don't have to save it, it always saves. But don't make it a habit because majority of other stuff does not do that. 
Okay, so let's start jacking this thing up. So we have it here. I'm going to resample that to six. Uh, change our source to internal left right and I'm going to set the threshold to pretty low because it's it's just internally so I'm guessing that there's no real ground hum or whatever so I'm going to just set it to three arm hold this thing the whole way through oh what am I doing this is messed up here I jacked up so what we need to do first function note discard is pitch this way up so on the source page you just use the tuning it's not going to time stretch it it actually just shortens the uh, loop so turn that to 24 it just condenses it like crazy now that's what I want to resample so arm done there it is it should be totally fine uh, yes to save it. I'll just save it as that and I'm gonna save it to six So now let's go and listen to six. I'm getting excited So now you want to pitch this down to 24 Cool, right? So now what we need to do is resample that speed it up resample that pitch it down and just kind of keep Wait, wait, wait. how do I want to do this? I want to, yeah, that's exactly what I want to do because I want to bake those settings into the sample. So we'll go to sample here, no arm and record it with the new default pitch. I'm gonna speed through all this because this is gonna take too many times. So this is a take one or yeah, one. I'm already confused. All right, so now let's Bake that again. Here, delete, yes. This is the second one, I think. Right, so now again, speed this up. Oh, this is kind of working out. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. So no function. Dun, dun, dun. Luckily, the parameters get saved to the track and the only thing that's changing is the sample being replaced by a new one. So I always have this one that I'm assigning the sped up version that's then resampled to six. And then six plays that back at minus 24, so it plays it back at normal speed. And then I bake that in and put that back on seven, and then seven speeds it up again. I hope that makes sense. So let's kind of just do an A, B right now. This is the fourth time or third time that it's been here. So we have, I wanna change our amp settings to just full hold. Full hold. So we have this one. Original. Now a new version. It's working. You hear that? Ooh, it's starting to cave in on itself. Okay, cool. We're shooting for 10. Let's go to 10. I should have chose a shorter loop. Delete. Arm. Oh, it's starting to get gritty. This is the fifth. This is easy. We're going to hit 10 in no time. We might be able to push it. Discard. Arm. Do, do, do. That's going to be stuck in my head all night. And that is six. We're on six now. <laughs> Every time I hit that first note, it just gets worse and worse, but in the best way possible. This is the seventh one? I'm losing track. Seven. This is seven. I need to start keeping track. Seven, 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 seven. Even the high pitch one's starting to get a lot noisier, which is cool. So let's see. Save, save, save. Six. Discard arm. I can't help it. I can't help it. Dope sample, by the way. Whoever made this on Spice. Eight. Nine. Ten. We made it. We're at ten. Moment of truth. This is it. This is the final one, number 10. Save it to six. Let's see what it sounds like. Not bad. Hear the original? Whoa. I purposely stopped listening to the original just to give myself a bit. Dang. Wait. And that's, there's nothing on there? Like I'm not tripping out? 
that's it. That's the sample. Wow, that made a huge difference. And this is 10 times. It took a while. You gotta put in some effort, sure. But that's a sound that's probably really hard to get from the Diggy Tact on its own. Listen to this. Warmer and louder, or louder, crispier, crunchier. This one almost sounds warmer and bassier. This one almost has a bit more clarity. I mean, it's destroyed, but I mean, it, this tells me a couple things. That one, the DACs, the digital analog converters that they use in this, not bad. I'm not sure how that, that also gets affected with the internal sampling, I'm guessing, because it's got to go to the output at some point, right? So it's going out of one back into another. And to give the DT some credit, I thought it was going to fall apart way sooner than this. Maybe after four or five of them, it was just going to be unusable. So this is kind of cool because if you were to utilize the resample method, the old SP404 trick, I did a video on that a while back, that would slowly keep deteriorating your beat the further and further you go down. So not only are you adding your own internal swing, you're adding a bit more grit and noise and just dust and awesomeness to your beat. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and just, I don't know, you know what, I'm gonna do this a couple more times. Let's see where we can push this. 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh. 15 or 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm starting to fall into a rhythm of this. You know what, I'm gonna just push it to 21. Might as well. I'm already here, right? All right, and just the final one is recording this as this onto seven and saving it there so we can play it at a tuning of zero or its original pitch. All right, here we go. Save, 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 onto seven, done. If we go to track seven now, tuning to nothing. There it is. So amp, here's the original. <laughs> Insanely different. And then the new one. Oh, I messed that up. Dang. That's 21 resamples in this thing. If you're making a beat and you do 21 resamples, that's what's eventually gonna happen to your track. All right, let's make a beat with it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let's copy this track. And then I'm gonna go to track six, paste, track eight. Actually, how do I wanna do this? Yeah, you know what, I do wanna do this. So I'm gonna say copy, copy, copy. Actually, before I go too far, track five, copy that onto four. And I'm gonna paste that as just kind of our reference. It's always gonna be there and so copy this, I'm going to paste, paste. Oh. Cool. So we have this, and the reason I've done this is because I want to go into the source sample and set the start point differently. So the first one's fine. This one here, I want it to be... And then here, I want it to be the third part. This one I want to be the last part. I want the last one a little lower. Whoa. Whoa, all of them at minus two? It's kind of the move. Let's do that. Also, one thing I hate about the diggy tag, it's so difficult to these things are just so touchy. Like, just give me minus two. Come on. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in and resample me playing. So, uh. Cool. 
Cool. Normalize that. Save that. Onto five. So now we have a loop that's also pitched down because it saved everything. I'm going to clear, 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 clear. Go to our sample, select the very last one, which is number 73. I've been here a long time. Sunset. It's dark now. So I can set this to basically just hold forever and not loop. So this will allow me to play in some sounds. Oh, hello. Let me find some drum sounds. Yeah, that'll work. Sweet, hi-hat time. I don't even know what tempo I played at, but this is too loud. A little reverb. Cool. So as uh, you would expect, time to resample this. And let me hear the tempo first. So just to help me out, I'm going to go ahead and resample this onto four but um, with just the hi-hat, so I can give myself a little bit of a metronome. So we're gonna arm, we'll say. Uh... I think that was right. <laughs> I'll save that, and we're just gonna save that back onto five. Just keep repeating itself. Cool, discard, arm that, stop, stop, stop. And then we'll say, uh... Sweet, save, save, on to five. So the crazy thing here is we're still resampling and resampling and resampling. So we'll disarm, arm. Oh, that is the most generic vanilla beat, dude. Come on, do something better than that. That first part messes me up every time. Awesome, save, save, save. Dang, it's starting to get smashed. Whoa. So I'm gonna start on the second part of this because I jacked that first part up so bad. I kinda like that actually. There it is. So now... Yo. <laughs> this is kind of tight. Let's get a little bit of compressor in there. can crank out the dust. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just leave it here. I'm gonna just kind of vibe out to this thing for a minute, but appreciate you tuning. Oh, no, no, no. We're not gonna do this yet. Not yet, not yet. We have one more thing, an LFO to the pitch. Sample length, because we set the start and the end point. Whatever it does in between those two points, who cares? Let's get some speeded up, slow down in here. Where's it at? Tuning. Oh man. What happens if we sync this? 
Oh, it is strong. This is dope. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I would release this. This beat is dope. Okay, okay, okay. What was I even trying to do? Way, way less. Alright. What I was trying to do was say goodbye. Appreciate you coming by, hanging out, kicking it. Hope you're doing alright. Um, if you want to support the channel, check out some merch. You kicking it is more than enough. I'm going to just chill here. You already know the drill. Share the love. Share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace. Oh, our tempo's at 129. We got to fix that.